everyone. Again, this is Teacher Romel. And today, we are going to take up about proper and improper fraction. That is week 1 of our lesson in Mathematics 6. Now, what is an improper fraction or proper fraction? So first, proper fraction. Ano nga ba to? A proper fraction is when the numerator of a fraction is smaller than the denominator. Let's say, for example, 4 fifth. So 4 is smaller than the denominator, which is 5. So it is a proper fraction. Another example is 2 7, wherein 2 is smaller than 7. And the next one is 1 third, which is the numerator is 1. So, it is smaller than the denominator. Yes, the next one is improper fraction. Is when the numerator of a fraction is bigger than the denominator. Example is 5 over 4. So, kita nyo naman, mas malaki yung 5 sa 4. Kaya siya tinawag na improper fraction. The next one is 11 over 4, which is yung 11 mas malaki siya kaysa sa 4. So, that's why it is an improper fraction. And 9 over 4. Now, let's try to identify whether the fraction is proper or improper. 2 third. Yes, that is a proper fraction. Very good. Next one. Ayan na. 9 over 4. What's, what do you think is the answer? Yes. Improper fraction. Good job. Next one. Get ready. Six over three. So, what do you think is the answer? Mm -hmm. Okay, improper fraction. Very good. Next number. The number is five over seven, and the answer is proper fractions. Good job. And the last but not the least, 40 over 16. What kind of fraction is that? Improper fraction. Very good. So, let's have more exercises. Let's try to answer this. So, write P. If the fraction is a proper fraction, and I if it is an improper fraction. Number 1, 10 over 7. Number 2, 8 over 9. Number 3, 5 over 10. Number 4, 14 over 5. And number 5, 9 over 3. Are you done? Good job. 